If you're going to seek, you got to know what it means. Seeking is worship. You're be. So what does that tell you? You ready for this? Worship is bigger than the three songs that we sang the earlier the service. It's bigger than whoever sang the solo on that. Worship is bigger than the musicians that played it, than the lights that flashed, and the sound that happened. If seeking is worship. That word seek in the Greek means to worship. Behavioral change is worship. The church has become too weak for too long. We've allowed ourselves to believe that coming into a church service, shouting out loud and dancing around for a few moments and everybody's all excited because we had a moment of worship, but we leave the building and we're not changing how we think, changing how we behave, changing how we act, that everything's okay. That's not worship. Worship changes me from the song to the soul, from the soul to my action, from my action to my friend, to my relative. Worship is lifestyle. It requires more than a loud moment of unity that is so wonderful to have. But I'm tired of the American church having moments of great unity. And the moment we're outside, we're divided from everybody else. All because we cannot learn to change behavior. And it's biblically required of us to do so. We have the capacity, if we begin to function in it, to literally change people around us by how we behave towards them. Seeking is worship. Seeking is behavioral change. Seeking has the capacity to align you with the blessings of God and the favor of God in your life. If you haven't seen favor in a while, you haven't seen blessing in a while, look at your life. See what's missing. Are you praying? Are you fasting? Are you seeking the presence of God when you worship? Is it, is it pure or is it just driven because you like a certain sound? Oh, it drives me insane sometimes. Worship should be pure, not tainted by the religious items we've attached to it. It should be pure. 